News 46 is brought to you in part by... Happy Holidays from Tom Caldwell's Custom Tattooing and Body Piercing. Happy Holidays! November 9th, I believe it was, we had the special meeting on Groponics, and uh, it was brought up by a resident about deed restrictions. So we took a break, and then after the break, I, uh, during the break, the gentleman gave me the, the deed restriction, and I read it, and I asked about it, and it was just, uh, it was put into the record and fluffed. So then after the meeting, I went to the district attorney's office with the uh, deed restrict, the deed, quick deeds from the two properties. And I asked him to give me an opinion, which you have in your hand, and which I read at Tuesday night's meeting, saying that uh, violation of those deed restrictions possibly could be illegal. Now, we're talking about, I guess, uh, taking public property for this uh, Groponics company and leasing it for five years? Yes. Uh, the lease would be for five years, and after that he would, have, uh, he would purchase the property. Groponics, uh, I had two or three conversations with Mr. Bien. I think the company would be good for Pahrump, and I want it here. It's just that uh, it's not being handled the right way. You can't take public, public property and sell it the way they want to do it. It's illegal, if you read that opinion the DA gave me. I want the business here. We need the jobs. But I, all I ask is it's do, it done the right way. If Mr. Kashani says who he is, why can't he come up with one or two million dollars to buy 30 or 60 acres? It, it, you know, it, it stretches the mind why a gentleman can't do that if he's, you know, if he has that kind of backing. It, it's just, I, I don't understand why they're not doing it that way. They just want to violate the law. In, or, in order for uh, this Groponics company uh, to go forward, this uh, project to go forward, what needs to be done? He needs to find 60 acres of uh, privately owned land, land and buy it. I don't believe we could give him that property. It's 30, ac it's 30 acres uh, on Kellogg and 30 acres on uh, Squaw Valley. Okay. And both of them have deed restrictions. Go ahead and explain, explain the deed restriction, if you would. The way I understand it, the deed restriction is when it comes from the county, it's been given back and forth several times from the county to the township for a dollar. And when it was given to the county, they had deed restrictions that the previous owner put in there. The one for Kellogg was supposed to be for a firehouse and or cemetery, which there is a firehouse on the Kellogg end of the property. The one on Squaw Valley was supposed to be used for public purpose. And as the opinion says from the DA's office, uh, agriculture or agroponics is not considered a public use, even though it's economic development. There's fine differences in the law, which I really haven't read into yet. I'm just reading what was in the uh, opinion.